Eleven girls kidnapped from a school in Kebi State are still in captivity 18 months later. Their school, the federal government girls college Bernin Yuri, was ransacked on June 17, 2021, and the students and five teachers were kidnapped. But the 11 school girls remain in captivity despite payment of ransom and prisoner swaps. There are reports that some girls have been married off and are pregnant. Our security and public policy analyst, Dr. Abubakar Alkali, joins us now for more on this story. Thank you so much for joining us on the news tonight. Um, 18 months after, where do you begin from? What, what are the parents, the loved ones, what are they saying? What have they told you? Yeah, um, I just saw uh, Chris. Good to see you. Thank you. Um, yes, it's actually uh, 19 months almost. And uh, yes, it's um, a very sad story on, um, you know, all of us as a people, uh, the government, uh, you know, the citizens. And um, I think what is required now is not to continue the blame game, but to provide solutions, you know, uh, towards getting these innocent girls out. Uh, as rightly stated, some of them have uh, actually been delivered of babies, captivity. Uh, it was 120 of them, 112 girls, um, school children, boys and girls, and eight teachers that were kidnapped. And uh, successively, um, you know, only the, the, the uh, about, uh, yeah, 100 and, uh, um, 109, as it were were, were, were released and the 11 uh, girls were, were, were kept. So uh, what is required now is to find a way, is to find uh, a way out of this. And the way out um, should lead to the freeing of these girls. On the part of the government, um, we know government has a policy of not paying ransom to terrorists, um, which I actually support you know, in principle. Uh, now, that apart, the, the, the responsibility of government is to, is to find, you know, find a way, no, no matter how um, that is going to be, or, or no matter what the, uh, how that is going to take. Um, it's simply not a sad story that, you know, Nigeria with all its uh, resources, you know, can be, uh, you know, held to ransom um, um, by, by, by terrorists. Uh, you remember in 2020, uh, October 2020, an American uh, citizen was kidnapped from Niger. He was brought to Nigeria by the kidnappers. The Americans came and did their drills and 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 and, and freed the, the 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 captive. So why why don't we have that? Uh, why can't we use technology? I keep saying this: technology has to be at the center of these uh, methods. You know, for yeah, yeah Bubaka, because it brings uh, to a, uh, um, a lot to question about uh, some of the operations. They've rescued this. They are, you know, de-radicalizing and releasing these people back to their communities. And these are 11, you know, innocent uh, young school girls kidnapped from their schools. The Leah Sharibu is still there and the rest. Does it not even question you know, some of the uh, tactical operations of uh, the Nigerian military. Does it not question the modes or uh, the modus operandi of the operations in uh, rescuing its own uh, citizens? Exactly, Chris. Um, well, I, I, tell you, I tell you what, any, um, you know, uh, effort to end this insurgency, end this terror, uh, which does not take the fight to the terrorists will not achieve the desired results. Uh, don't get me wrong, I know our security agencies are doing you know, uh, something, uh, although more needs to be done. The crux of the matter is any method, any uh, strategy against these terrorists must take this uh, fight, must take the fight to the terrorists. You see, waiting for the terrorists to strike before we respond will not solve the problem. Uh, the military has to take 
the fight to the terrorists. Uh, um, I mean, uh, a good thing recently, we have seen some part of that. Now, apart from the force, you know, apart, apart from the aspect of force in this, uh, 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 in this strategy, there are also other um, you know, unconventional uh, 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 tools. There is the, the, the aspect of technology I keep saying. You see, the key thing from all of this is that mobile phone, that communication device that these terrorists are using to perpetrate this evil. By the time you, you deny them that space to use mobile phones to negotiate, most of them will run out of business. So there is the need to look at some, I mean, why is the SIM and, and, and uh, policy? Why is the SIM NIM policy that came with so much, uh, uh, um, you know, uh, so much expectations? Why is it that a kidnapper will sit down? They have been negotiating with the parents for 19 months now and counting using mobile phone. Okay. As uh a matter of fact, Mr. Uh, Abubakar, can you confirm that they are still negotiating with the parents as we speak? And I wanted to ask you, I mean, in the case of Leah Sharipo, we are told that uh, she was a prisoner because of her religion. In this particular abduction, we do know that there were uh, over 70 students and five teachers kidnapped. However, these 11 girls remain. Do we know why they kept them behind? Uh, well, to be honest, I was asking this question this this evening. I was saying to to uh, um, uh, uh, to someone. Uh, I mean, why why is it that they they, they released one hundred and uh, and nine and kept uh, 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 eleven? You know. So she said to me, I, maybe because they they feel you know they have um, uh, these uh, big girls, teenagers, and and they have some uh, plans uh, uh, plans around them, but. I think what is important at this point is to take away this uh, this mentality, this issue of religion, because that is one aspect that you mentioned uh, in, in, in your last comment. Um, these terrorists do not discriminate based on religion. And this latest uh, um, uh, abduction, the FDC or abduction, and many other abductions have proven that they don't discriminate based on abduction. And there's also a difference between the Boko Haram abduction uh, and the, the uh, Boko Haram terrorism generally, and the bandits terrorism. The bandits have taken this as a, a job creation scheme. The, the main motive is money to them, the bandits. While Boko Haram, you know, uh, brings around, uh, envelops the whole thing around some religious and ideological sort of, uh, 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 you know, hypothesis or theory. So we have to be uh, aware of that. Bandits did not kidnap these school girls because they are Muslims or they are Christians. They don't discriminate. The, the, the main motive is, is, is uh, as I said, is, is money. And that is why, you see, the strategy should be all encompassing. Let us not, you know, look at this from a sectional or regional um, uh, religious uh, perspective. Let us look at it purely, purely as, as criminality, as terror, and let us treat it as such. Well, that's a good place to leave it. Uh, we do pray. Uh, our hearts and prayers are with their families, uh, hoping that they reunite uh, very soon. Dr. Abubakar Alkali is a public policy analyst, a security and public policy analyst. Thank you so much.